Welcome to the world of regression analysis, where we use mathematical models to make predictions about the future. Whether it's predicting the stock market, estimating the likelihood of a customer churning, or even getting the type of fruit based on its color and shape, regression is a powerful tool in the data scientist's toolbox. And in this video, we'll take a deep dive into two common types of regression, linear and logistic regression. So grab your calculator, put on your data scientist hat, and let's get started. So let's begin with linear regression. Linear regression can be applied to a wide range of problems, but the goal is to predict a continuous outcome based on one or more independent variables. So for example, you could use linear regression to predict the price of a house based on its size, location, and some other factors. Logistic regression, on the other hand, is typically used to predict a binary outcome. So that's success or failure, win or lose. And it's particularly useful for classification problems where the goal is to predict which of two or more classes a given input belongs to. For example, you could use logistic regression to predict whether a customer will churn or not based on their behavior. You could also use it to predict whether an email is spam based on its content. Now to see how this works in practice, let's consider our example of predicting the price of a house based on its size. So suppose we have a data set of 100 houses and their sizes and prices. We want to use linear regression to model the relationship between the size of a house and its price and use this model to predict the price of a new house based on its size. Here's how we would do this. So first we'd plot the size and price of each house on a scatter plot to visualize the relationship between the two variables. And then we would fit a line of best fit to the data by minimizing the sum of the squared differences between the observed values and the predicted values. That line would represent the relationship between the size and price of the houses. And we can use that line of best fit to make predictions about the price of a new house based on its size. So for example, if the size of the house is 2000 square feet, we can use that line of best fit to predict its price. In this way, linear regression allows us to model the relationship between the size and prices of houses and use this model to break predictions about the price of a house based on its size. Now, how about logistic regression? Unlike linear regression, which is used to predict continuous outcomes, logistic regression is used to predict binary outcomes. And to see how logistic regression works in practice, let's consider the example of predicting whether a customer will churn or not based on their behavior. So here, Perhaps we have a data set of 100 customers and their behavior variables, such as their number of purchases, their average purchase amount, and so forth. And then we've got their churn outcome. So the churn outcome is one, that means they churned, or zero, they didn't churn. And we want to use logistic regression to model the relationship between behavior variables and the churn outcome, and use this model to predict the probability that a new customer will churn based on their behavior. Here's how we do it. So, First, we'd plot the behavior variables and the churn outcome on a scatter plot to visualize the relationship between the two. Then we'd fit a logistic regression model to the data by estimating the coefficients of the logistic function that best fits the data. And this model would represent the relationship between the behavior variables and the churn outcome and predicts the probability the customer will churn or not. Then we can use the logistic regression model to make predictions about the likelihood that a new customer will churn based on their behavior. So for example, if a new customer has a behavior value of x1 of 10, x2 of 5, and x3 of 2, we can use the logistic regression model to predict their likelihood of churn. So linear and logistic regression are two different beasts that solve different types of problems, but are they ever used together? Why, yes they are. In fact, logistic regression is a type of generalized linear model, which means that it can be used to model other types of outcomes besides binary outcomes, such as ordinal outcomes or count outcomes. One common use of linear and logistic regression together is in multi-class classification problems, where the goal is to predict which of more than two classes a given input belongs to. For example, you could use logistic regression to predict the type of fruit, where the type of fruit is apple, orange, pear, and so forth. So more than one thing based on its color, its shape, and other features. In this case, the logistic regression model would have multiple classes, one for each type of fruit, and would predict the probability that the input belongs to each class. So next time you're trying to predict the price of a stock or the likelihood of a customer churning, Remember that linear and logistic regression are powerful tools in your data science toolbox. And consider combining the two, multiple regression models, 
might just save you from making a fruitless mistake.